The story begins with a panda named Pang, running away from a dragon. Even though Pang is scared, he faces the dragon and even shows off his strong claws. It turns out Pang is actually playing tag with his friend, a dragon named Jielong. However, Jielong hasn't learned how to breathe ice or fly yet. Pang cheers Jielong up, telling her that one day, she'll be just like her dad. Jielong's father uses his dragon powers to help other creatures all over the world. Before he left, he entrusted Jielong to Pang's parents. On another day, Pang helps Jielong practice flying by launching her into the air, but it doesn't go as planned, and Jielong ends up falling. Luckily, Jielong's dad sees what's happening and swoops in just in time to save them both. Meanwhile, in Africa, a lion named Malum is celebrating his nephew Aid's birthday. Ade thanks all the animals for coming and shares his excitement about having a birthday party. Later, Ade goes back to his throne, thinking about the celebration. But Malum is worried cause he knows the hyenas, enemies of the lions, might return to the forest. At that time, Malum plans to drive them away before it's too late, but first he's waiting for Aid's birthday gift to arrive. Elsewhere, a baboon named Kabora and a crocodile named Pu are on their way to China. Their plan is to kidnap a dragon, because dragons are mighty creatures with incredible powers. At the same time, Jilong's dad is saying goodbye to her and Pang's parents. Jilong feels sad that her dad is leaving, but Pang cheers her up, making her feel happy again. They start racing to a cave, but Pang accidentally bumps into a panda named Wong, who teases him for playing with a dragon. Luckily, Jilong overhears and decides to prank Wong, making him back off. After that, Pang and Jilong play hide and seek. Pang closes his eyes and tries to find Jielong while she hides. During their game, Kabora and Pa secretly watch them. Soon, they approach Pang, and Jielong warns him to run. They dash into a cave, but they reach a dead end. Kabora and Pa catch Jielong, while Pang is pushed into a ravine by Kabora. Determined, Pang climbs back up and finds a small exit. Unfortunately, he's too late cause the kidnappers are already heading toward the dock with Jielong. Pang is torn about what to do whether should he tell his parents or try to rescue Jielong himself. Then, he decides to go after Jielong. Even though he's too late to stop them, he manages to grab Po's bag, which has a map leading to Africa. Quickly, Pang asks an orangutan with a boat for help, but the orangutan refuses and drives him away. Undeterred, Pang sneaks onto a small boat tied to the back of the orangutan's ship, hoping it will take him closer to rescuing Jielong. As night falls, Pang's parents and the townsfolk search for Pang and Jielo. Meanwhile, Pang accidentally stumbles onto the main ship owned by an orangutan called Captain. Captain agrees to let Pang stay on board as long as he follows every order, and Pang quickly agrees. At the same time, Kabora and Pa lock Jielong in a cage. Jielong tries to fight back, even breathing out ice to hit Kabora's backside. This shows that Jielong has started to use her powers, so Kabora ties her snout to stop her from trying again. Still, Jielong keeps resisting. Back with Pang, he's now dealing with a fierce sea storm. Captain orders him to lower the sails, but suddenly, the ship's mast breaks, causing Pang to fall, while the mast lands on Captain. Pang quickly helps Captain, and together, they escape onto a lifeboat. Not long after, their main ship sinks beneath the waves. Meanwhile, Ade is playing alone when Malum arrives, telling him that the gift he's been waiting for will arrive soon, and it's a new pet. Excited, Ade imagines it might be a hamster, but it's actually an animal meant to protect the lions from hyenas. On the other hand, Kabora and Pa have arrived in Africa, where there's no way for Jielong to escape. Realizing this, Jielong fights back, hitting Kabora with her tail. The next day, Captain thanks Pang for his hard work, saying that they survived the journey because of him. Pang explains that everything he did was to save his friend. Then Pang notices strange animals around them, and he realizes that he and Captain have arrived in Africa. Before they part ways, Captain gives Pang his lucky medal as a farewell gift. As Pang explores the area, he's watched by an antelope named Abu and a monkey named Jojo. Suddenly, a pack of wolves approaches Pang. At first, Pang stays calm, but Jojo warns him to run. 
Pang tries but trips, so Jojo distracts the wolves and helps Pang hide. After the wolves leave, Pang thanks Jojo and explains that he's here to find his friend. Jojo is happy to help and tells Pang that Jielong has been taken to Lion Rock. Jojo offers to show the way, but asks for Pang's lucky medal in return. Reluctantly, Pang agrees, and he follows Jojo through a gate where Abu pushes him forward. It turns out they've tricked Pang and taken him to meet their boss, an ostrich named Darius. Darius decides to put Pang to work as a salsa dancer to earn money. Soon after, Pang finds himself trapped, with Jojo even putting handcuffs on him. He feels disappointed in Jojo, but it turns out Jojo is also stuck and can't go anywhere. Later, while Abu, who's guarding Pang, falls asleep, Pang uses his claws to break free from the handcuffs and manages to escape. Suddenly, Jojo wants to join him. Jojo apologizes and promises to take Pang to Lion Rock. Hearing this, Pang decides to free him. However, Jojo talks a lot, almost waking Darius. Before they leave, Jojo grabs Pang's medal from Darius, and then they make their escape. Along the way, Jojo seems unsure of which way to go. Luckily, they find a camel taxi. Jojo bargains the price, and once they agree, Pang and Jojo hop on the camel's back. They also buy six bottles of water for their journey. Meanwhile, the gift Malum promised finally arrives. Kabora and Pab brought a dragon, who turns out to be Jello. But Aid's reaction is pretty casual cause he doesn't understand what Jelong can do. To convince him, Kabora shows the icy mark on his backside from Jelong's ice breath. Ade finally believes it and follows his uncle's lead, trusting that Malum has good intentions. On the other hand, Jojo and Pang rest in the desert, where Jojo feels cold. Pang gives him a hug, making Jojo feel cared for. Grateful, Jojo promises to become a better friend. The next day, as they continue their journey, a group of meerkats begins to follow them. Jojo tells the camel to speed up, but the meerkats start chasing them on rhinos. The annoyed camel complains and eventually leaves Jojo and Pang behind. The meerkats were actually just thirsty and wanted some water. Jojo doesn't want to share, but Pang generously offers them some water. This leaves Pang and Jojo without any water for themselves, and they're forced to continue on foot. Elsewhere, Malum takes Ade to see Jielong's powers, using a chicken as a test subject. Jielong refuses, so Malum threatens her. Reluctantly, Jielong breathes her ice breath on a nearby tree instead. Malum is thrilled, realizing her ice breath can freeze an entire forest. At that time, Pang tries to cheer up Jojo under the hot sun, but Jojo is too tired to keep going so Pang decides to carry him. Meanwhile, Vulture starts circling above them. Suddenly, Pang begins to see visions of his parents and friend, and then he faints. Seeing this, Jojo pushes him until they reach an oasis, where Jojo wakes Pang up using a piece of bamboo. They both relax in the lake, but suddenly, a hippo pops up, surprising them. Then Jojo quickly backs away, while Pang notices that the hippo seems to be in trouble opening its mouth wide. It turns out the hippo has swallowed a frog. After helping the hippo, Pang realizes Jojo is missing. Jojo had run away out of fear, so Pang goes looking for him, only to find that Jojo has been caught by Darius and Abu. Pang tries to escape, but ends up captured by Darius as well. Meanwhile, Jielong, feeling sad, is approached by Ade. Understanding loneliness, Ade tries to teach Jielong some pet tricks. Jielong wants to speak, but her mouth is tied. Ade removes the restraint, and Jielong begins talking, amazing Ade. Then, Jielong offers to show him a catch-and-throw game, convincing Ade to open her cage. She quickly escapes, but unfortunately, Malum spots her. Remembering her father's words about flying coming from within, Jielong tries to fly, but doubts herself and fails, getting caught by Malum once again. At the same time, Pang faces a similar situation, where Darius scolds him, reminding him that he's now his slave, and Jojo betrayed him. Along the way, Darius spots a hyena in the distance, and, realizing the danger, quickly runs off with Abu following him. This leaves Pang and Jojo alone with the hyena named Niala. 
Niala seems curious about Pang's back. When Pang and Jojo comment on it, Niala tells them to be quiet. She finds a map to Lion Rock inside the bag. Seeing this, Niala becomes sad, explaining that Lion Rock was once her home until the lions drove out the hyenas, separating her from her pack. Shortly after, Pang invites Niala to join them on their journey to Lion Rock. Jojo, however, isn't too happy about it because he's afraid of hyenas. But Pang trusts Niala, so they all head toward Lion Rock together. As night falls, they decide to rest, and Pang accidentally leans against what he thinks is a tree, but turns out to be a giraffe's leg. Jojo then suggests they keep their distance from Niala. Unfortunately, while they're asleep, a python captures them. Luckily, Niala steps in and saves both Pang and Jojo from the snake. Meanwhile, Ade visits Jielong, who is still feeling down. It turns out Jielong misses her friend, Pang. Ade shares that he once had a hyena friend when he was younger. They would often play together in the forest until Aid's parents came looking for him. Afraid of being caught, Ade hid. The next day, though, Aid's parents were found at the bottom of a waterfall. According to his uncle, it was the work of a hyena pack, leaving Ade heartbroken over the loss of both his parents and his friend. On the other hand, Pang, Jojo, and Niala are getting closer to Lion Rock. On the other side, Malum is planning a surprise attack on the hyenas. Soon, Ade comes to his uncle, asking him to release Jielong, but Malum refuses. He wants to use the dragon to get rid of the hyenas and to take revenge for Aid's parents. As Pang and the others arrive at a wide river, they're unsure how to cross it. Luckily, Pang spots a bridge. Jojo is scared to cross, so Pang carries him across. Once they're on the other side, Niala calls out to her family, but suddenly, a hyena leaps out and attacks her. It turns out to be her brother, Luatsi. Soon, Niala's parents appear, and they happily reunite. Niala then introduces Pang and Jojo to her family. The hyenas hold a celebration for Niala's return, which makes Jojo feel a bit jealous because he has no real home. Niala's parents invite him to stay, but Jojo explains he needs to stay with Pang on their journey to Lion Rock. Niala's parents reveal the truth about Aid's parents. Years ago, Niala was playing in the forest with Ade when Aid's parents came looking for him. Trying not to get caught, Ade ran away, but his mother slipped on the bridge and fell into the river, and his father tried to save her. Malum was there and witnessed the event, but blamed the hyenas. Hearing this, Pang tells Niala not to come with them, as it could be dangerous. Meanwhile, Pu and Kabora are watching the hyenas, as well as Pang and Jojo, who are entering lion territory. Jojo, as usual, talks a lot, until Pang shouts at him to be quiet. This causes them to be spotted by Kabora and Pu. Pang is captured, but Jojo manages to escape. Pang is then taken to Lion Rock, where he's thrilled to reunite with Jielong. But the happiness doesn't last, as Malone plans to take Jielong to the forest to freeze the hyenas. If Jielong refuses, Pang will be in danger. Pang is handcuffed, and Pu is assigned to guard him. Meanwhile, Malone leads his group into the forest. Seeing this, Ade tries to stop his uncle, but no one listens to him. At the same time, Pang struggles to free himself from the handcuffs, but Pu is watching him closely. Suddenly, Jojo appears, knocking Pu out, and quickly frees Pang. Grateful for Jojo's help, Pang gives him his lucky medal. Then, they hurry to catch up with Jielo. Elsewhere, Malum calls out to the hyena pack. Ade is shocked to see Niala among them, and Niala tells him that his parents' death was actually an accident. Malum knew this all along, but kept it a secret. Furious, Malum orders Kabora to capture Ade, but Ade fights back. Malum then threatens to freeze Ade along with the hyenas. Jilong, however, breathes a dark cloud into the sky. Enraged by Jilong's defiance, Malum tries to fight back, but Jilong ends up freezing him instead. Afterward, Jilong asks the lions and hyenas to help find Pang, but Pang and Jojo show up right then. In a careless move, Jojo accidentally frees Malum, who quickly chases after Pang. Pang and Jojo run, but Malum uses a bow to target Pang. Jojo leaps in front of Pang to shield him. Malum then drags Pang into the forest, 
while Niala and Ade rush to Jojo's side. Fortunately, Jojo is still alive, saved by the lucky medal. At the same time, Malum and Pang are crossing a river, but Pang has had enough. He fights back against Malum with his claws, nearly knocking Malum into the rushing river. Just as Pang tries to help him, Malum pulls Pang along, and they both get swept away by the current. In the end, Malum doesn't survive, but Jielong saves Pang just in time. It turns out Jielong has learned to fly. Ade then announces that lions and hyenas will now live together in peace. At the end of the movie, Pang and Jielong say their goodbyes, inviting Jojo to come along. Meanwhile, Jielong's father has returned home. Pang's parents tell him all about how Pang and Jielong went missing. Hearing this, Jielong's father feels guilty for leaving his daughter behind. Suddenly, snow begins to fall, created by Jielong herself. Seeing this, Jielong's father feels proud of her. The animation ends. The moral lesson from this animation is never try to kidnap a dragon, or you might end up with a burnt tail and a one-way ticket to Africa. Also, if a panda invites you on a rescue mission, pack extra water because camels don't come with GPS.